districts for most of our viewing area, school is out now. That means summer is here, and so is summer camp. For most, it's a fun filled time, right? But it's important to make sure to have a healthy and safe summer. Tammy Fisher from CVS Minute Clinic is here to help us plan. Uh, Tammy, I guess the first question where does the planning begin here? Well, first, you want to make sure that you get your, your child involved in the decision making um, of a proper camp so that um, uh, you won't put your child into a camp that she's or he is not um, ready for as right. far as um, if it is the child's not a strong swimmer you want to make sure that you're not going to put the child in a camp that involves a lot of um, canoeing or sailing and of course uh, there are a lot of kids also in these camps it's kind of a group setting should you visit with your doctor beforehand with your child to make sure that they're not really exposing themselves to things that they shouldn't be exposed to well most definitely and you should also um, make sure that even if the camp doesn't require a uh, camp physical that the child does get a camp physical to make sure that he or she is safe for the camp. And there are allergies and dietary concerns sometimes that pop up with camps, right? Because uh, maybe sometimes lunch is provided for the kids and you want to make sure those camp counselors have what they need to know about your kid. Right. You want to you want to also make sure that um, before camp you you uh, let the camp counselor know if your child has any food allergies. Um, and then when you also arrive, you want to make sure that you discuss that again with them. Um, camps, of course, have a lot of hiking, outdoor activities, active stuff. What do kids need to have so that they're prepared and they don't get hurt out on those hiking trips? Definitely, you want to have some good footwear. You want some um, athletic shoes. And if you're doing a lot of hiking, uh, some hiking boots or, or some type of boot. Um, I would also recommend uh, refraining from any flip-flops. Those call, cause a lot of slips um, and injuries. Uh, a lot of um, kids end up from camp getting um, uh, blisters and um, twisted ankles. So I banged up my knee really bad one summer camp. I fell down some stone stairs and I didn't have the right shoes on. There you go. <laughs> so there's the word of warning. Yeah. And uh, when you're out in the sun and out in the uh, forest hiking around, you guys have some products here that are good yes. to keep in mind, right? What Defin do we have? Definitely, um, I would send some of these with your child. It's got a little bit of antibiotic ointment on it, the bandages. Um, of course, sunscreens. You that's you, ha you know that's almost you have definite. to have it yep. and 30 um, SPF of 30 would be just sufficient um, it covers about 97 percent of the UV and UVA UVA and UV rays and of course insect repellent what do we feel how do we feel about DEET in our DEET insect definitely yeah. um, you know it's not required but it does protect you against some of the other um, mosquitoes um, that carry the diseases um, but there is other ones out there that just has the herbals and the citronella that can um, help prevent it as well. Yeah. And definitely water bottle, um, keep hydrated. You're out there in the heat, so. Yeah, sometimes that gets away from you. Yes, and it's definitely. Not good. Don't want to get a kid dehydrated. No. Tammy, thanks so much for being here with us today. You're if welcome. you have missed any part of this, we're going to post the interview online on KETV.com. Just go to the As Seen on 7 section. Tammy from CVS Minute Clinic, thanks for being here with us Thank this you. morning.